the greatest astronomer of his time who made the most accurate observations of the planets ever wore a fake nose made of metal after losing his real one in a duel over math. The late 1500s was a time of scientific chaos. The old Earth-centered model of the universe is failing, but the new Sun-centered model from Copernicus isn't quite right either. To solve the mystery, astronomy desperately needs one thing, better data. That data will come from Tycho Brahe, a wealthy, arrogant, and incredibly eccentric Danish nobleman. He was a man of bizarre contradictions. So how did this strange, noseless party animal become the most important astronomer of his era? Tycho's entire life reads like a satire. First, the nose. In 1566, at age 20, he got into a duel with his third cousin. His cousin's blade sliced off the bridge of his nose. For the rest of his life, he wore a custom-made prosthetic. He also kept a pet moose, which famously drank beer at his castle, and at dinner he kept a supposedly psychic dwarf named Jep, who sat under the table, muttering predictions. Despite being a one-man freak show, Tycho was a meticulous, obsessive genius. The King of Denmark gave him his own island, where Tycho built Uraniborg, or Sky Castle, the most advanced observatory on Earth. He built massive, precise instruments, quadrants and armillary spheres, and for 20 years, he just watched. He measured the positions of stars and planets with an accuracy no one had ever achieved. In 1572, he observed a new star, a supernova, proving the heavens were not perfect and unchanging, shattering a 2,000-year-old belief. After losing favor with the Danish king, Tycho moved to Prague and hired a brilliant, difficult young assistant, Johannes Kepler, and that's where his story ends. In 1601, he was at a royal banquet and drank heavily. According to Kepler, Tycho considered it a massive breach of etiquette to leave the table before the host. He refused to get up, developed a severe urinary infection, and died in agony 11 days later. For centuries, that was the story. He was killed by his own politeness. But when his body was exhumed, scientists found lethal levels of mercury. After his death, Kepler got his hands on Tycho's 20 years of priceless, obsessively accurate data. Using Tycho's precise measurements of Mars, Kepler was able to prove that planets move in ellipses, not perfect circles. This became Kepler's laws of planetary motion, which Isaac Newton later used to build his theory of gravity. The entire scientific revolution rests on the work of a man with a metal nose, a psychic dwarf, and a case of fatal mercury poisoning.